My big sister led me to the Lord in the sandpit of the back garden of our house when I was four years old, and I remember that day well. Um, throughout my childhood, uh, I had a close walk with God, and he blessed me. Um, I can remember leaving university, and uh, he very distinctly gave me a promise that he who honours me, I shall also honour, and that if I walked with him, he would bless my path. He did that, and he absolutely blessed the things that I did when I walked closely with him. Uh, I had um, a beautiful wife, two lovely children, two lovely boys, one called Oscar, one called Matthew. Um, I uh, worked in, in the city, in London, in financial services. Um, we had pretty much everything we needed. I drove a Porsche and Emma had a Mercedes. We had the things that people probably think um, were important in this life. Um, but I took my eye away from God. Um, my pride got in the way. Um, I thought that I'd made it. Um, I had taken a job away from London to be uh, nearer to my wife's work. Uh, I had more time on my hands. Uh, I had money and uh, I started um, to look for an alternative excitement in my life um, away from God. Uh, I found a website called Betfair and um, I thought I knew something about sport. Um, I didn't really know anything about betting. Um, so I just started with very small wages. Um, those wages got bigger, uh, so did my losses. I hid everything from Emma because I was ashamed of it. Um, that meant that I created a web of deceit and lies. And uh, slowly uh, my stakes got bigger, my losses got higher, and I started to chase my losses. I still didn't admit that I had a problem to myself or to anyone else. Um, my relationship with my children suffered. Um, my relationship with my wife suffered and my friends and my family around me. Um, I hid what I was doing from everyone. Eventually, um, I'd squandered uh, the money that I had, the savings that my wife had given me, um, the equity from our house, um, everything pretty much. Um, eventually, um, desperate to uh, to re recoup my losses uh, and still afford the things that we had to do to live. Um, I found that my corporate card at work worked on the Betfair website. Um, a few months later, uh, £27,000 down the line, uh, my company found out uh, and I was invited in for an interview. It didn't take HR very long to realise that uh, uh, it wasn't right for me to continue to work in financial services anymore. I hid that fact from my wife for two months and um, eventually when she found out, she found my bank statements, she rightly left with the boys. I was left alone in a house. Um, I owed five months rent. Uh, I wasn't eating. I was spending the money that I could on gambling. Uh, I was selling everything that was left in the house. I wouldn't have been able to go on much longer. Um, still, I didn't turn to God. I knew he would have been the only one that could help me. I was too full of my own pride. Um, I probably would have ended my life, uh, or at least ended up in prison. Uh, but my mum came up to get me the day before they threw me out of the house. I got down on my knees and I cried and I prayed. And amazingly, I felt God had forgiven me. Um, it took me a little while longer for me to forgive myself um, and it's still going to be a long time before those around me um, will forgive me for what I did. But God has carried out massive reconciliation. Um, financially, um, I'm in a much stronger place. The guys at church here gave me wisdom financially, wisdom about uh, what it's like to have a compulsive addiction uh, and how to handle that and manage it and get through. Um, I haven't gambled since that day. Um, they made me recently the secretary of the Kent branch of the Gamblers Anonymous. It's now my job to meet new members when they come in. Reconciliation um, uh, is not so difficult to do financially. You can repair those things. Um, but trust is difficult to repair. My wife, until two weeks ago, was adamant that she wanted to divorce me. Um, and I was resigned to the fact that I'd only ever see my boys again at weekends. But... Um, 
through a miracle uh, and an avocado pear, I'm now back um, with my wife. Um, the avocado pear bit comes in because my five-year-old, who is um, autistic, um, epileptic and hemiplegic, um, popped an avocado pear in my pocket when we were shopping one day. Um, I didn't realise until we were packing the car that there was an avocado in my pocket and I hadn't paid for it. So I left Emma with the boys and went back into the supermarket. Um, I paid for it and when I came back out there was a look on her face. She realised that I had changed uh, and there was only one person that caused that change in me and that was God. When I live my life um, in the way that he wants me to live, he blesses my life. When I live it in the way that I live it, um, it goes spectacularly wrong. If there is anyone out there who has something uh, that's blocking their relationship, they're doing something in their life that they know isn't right, blocking their relationship with their partner or, or with God, I urge you please to talk to someone about it, someone here at church or someone in your family, but get it right and put it right so that you can be put right with God.